You know, I love to tell the story of when I first met Jesus because it shows the gentleness of God in a way that's different than most people think about God. Many people I meet think God's just angry with them. They they say things like, if I set foot in a church, I'd probably be struck by lightning. People just don't think of God as gentle, right? Because they think that gentleness equals weakness. But it's God's gentleness, the Bible says, that made me great. And it all started for me with a miraculous healing of my knee. I was playing football at Youngstown State University. I had this dream of being a pro football player one day. Who doesn't in college football? We were out scrimmaging, and a young freshman dove for a fumble between my knees, and I could hear my knee snap. I've never felt that. You could actually hear it in your body. My dream was in that moment, it was like, is this over? They rushed me off to the doctor who confirmed what I already knew to be true. The ligaments had been torn and in my knee, and I might never play football again. It was over. I was devastated. Later that day, they, they sent me back to my dorm room with a night's bag, and a team chaplain came by and knocked on my door and asked if he could come in. I was so disappointed, so angry. I, I was, I was, I said, I'm not sure why I said yes, but I said, sure, come on in. He came in and said, Ed, you got a lot of things going for you, but you, you just lack one thing. And I said, what's that? A relationship with Jesus. I remember just looking at him, just going, well, why am I here? And before he, you know, before I knew it, I was praying a prayer with this guy and calling out you know, for God to come into my story. And not only that, this guy reached out and and prayed for me and and prayed this prayer, Lord, heal Ed's knee in Jesus' name. I never had anyone ever pray for me. And I, I received Jesus in my life. You know, I don't remember feeling anything in that moment because remember, my, my, my knee was covered with ice. But I do remember what I felt in my heart. It was like the first time I realized that not only the conviction of my sin, and I was a sinner, and I didn't deserve God's forgiveness for the things I've done, but I didn't feel any hatred towards me. It was this gentle, loving person of the Savior Jesus who who I met for the first time. I thought God was mad at me because I wasn't a church kid. I had no idea that it was his gentleness that was the way God really was. Here's what King David says about the gentleness of God. You have given me a shield of your salvation, and your gentleness has made me great. You know, as they wheeled me into the hospital that next day, the doctor uh, ran some more tests and uh, returned to my room, and they, the doctor had this shocked look on his face. He said, uh, well, here are the new tests we did today. We did an orthogram, and, and here are the tests we did yesterday. Somehow the, the ligaments have been reattached, and your knee has been healed. You don't need surgery. Man, I, I got to tell you, in that moment, just like I was there, I, I jumped off that a gurney and started shouting, hallelujah. <laughs> That's kind of my word with God. I know it's hallelujah, but it's like, you're real. God didn't have to heal me that day, but he did. Sometimes we mistake gentleness for weakness, but it's not. Gentleness is power under control. People tend to think that God's angry and and ready to condemn them for their sin. Perhaps they don't know, or maybe they've forgotten that God so loved the world so much that he sent his son to die for us so that we wouldn't have to die for our own mistakes. God has all the power in the world, beloved, and yet he's gentle with us. That's his power under control, motivated by love, not weakness. Imagine that for a moment. God wants to set you free to be great for his glory, just like King David. As you go through your day today, I want you to ponder the ways that God has been gentle with you. As you think about the ways that God's been gentle in your life, look for opportunities to be gentle with other people. The Bible says that a gentle word will turn away wrath. We sure need that in these days. 
You have the power to use any words you choose. Why not try a gentle response with others this week and see if you notice any changes? Maybe you're watching this video and you're saying, you know what, Ed, I want to know the gentleness of God too. I want God's healing in my own life. Would you pray with me if that's your story right now? Just pray the same prayer I prayed many years ago. Dear Jesus, I ask you that you would forgive me for all the things I've ever done to sin against you. And I, right now, receive what you did on the cross at Calvary, where you died in my place so that I could now live as though I were you. And I receive that in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I want to tell you, if you just prayed that prayer for the first time, or maybe came back, would you send me an email? Would you connect to me and say, man, I want to, I, I, Ed, I prayed that prayer, and I took a step with Jesus. We would love to follow up with you. You know, I'm doing these videos each week because I want to see God make a massive difference in your life. Since I've only got a few minutes with you here each week, I can't go into much detail and go as deep as I'd like. And that's why I've written several books to show you how you can connect with God as your father. Maybe you didn't have a dad in your story who knew how to bless you. Guess what? God wants to be that guy. My first book, The Difference a Father Makes, is a great place to start. You can find that and more on our website, blessingofthefather.com. And while you're there, I've written a free devotional for you. All you got to do is sign up with your email address, and we will send it to you every day. And remember, it's never too late for God the Father to heal your story.